Did you hear? This is too good! What is it? Someone's running against Mayor Soft, the new guy. Marty, what's his name? Otto thought he was just going to coast to victory, but not anymore. <laughs> Hi, Francis. Ooh, what you working on? Can you keep a secret? I'm making Angus a pair of pearl cufflinks for our wedding. Only problem is my pearl source is on vacation, and I've only found one on the beach so far. If you could help me find another one, I would be so grateful. Of course I'll try to help. I'll keep my eye out. Thanks. I really want to make him something special. Any luck finding a pearl yet? Here you go. Wow, what a beauty. Thanks so much. This is a perfect match for my other one. Oh, I hope he likes them. Do you think we should re-elect Mayor Soft, Francis? Otto claims to be soft on small business, but he still owes me money for a necklace he bought for Mrs. Soft. Maybe we should elect someone who cares enough about small business owners to pay his debts on time. Do you know who you're voting for yet, Tara? I can't decide. Francis is pretty determined to vote for Marty, but Messenger Cameron thinks we should support Otto. Well, who do you like? I like not having political arguments at home, for one thing, because then I get no snuggles. I just want to make baked goods and cuddle. Is that too much to ask for in life? <laughs> Greetings, neighbor. I hope I can count on your vote to keep Fairhaven strong. Um... Er... Here, take a button. I heard Mayor Soft's got some competition this year. Oh, are you thinking of voting for his rival? Huh, fat chance. With any luck, when that greenhorn loses, he'll leave town. Hiya, Zephyr! You scared the living daylights out of me. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that you're not used to teleportation. <laughs> so what you doing? I was just watering my crops. By hand? Care wheels and grease, girl. <laughs> just because you're human doesn't mean you have to stick with human tech. <laughs> if you want to learn a more efficient method, swing by my shop anytime. <laughs> See ya. Wait, I hate when you do that. Who are you talking to? Thomas! I was just talking to my... my watering pan. I do that sometimes. Why are you here? I was checking to see if your well's working again now that the drought's over. But I can see it is, so I'll be on my way. Wash ashores.
Autumn is the time when the veil between worlds is at its thinnest. Traveling to the gloaming is easier than ever, which means we must recast the glamour over the stone circle. The glamour? I'm sorry, what is that? It's a spell that conceals our circle from prying eyes. Gloria and Giacomo were our best glamour casters. They kept the rest of Fairhaven from getting too close by accident. Now that they're both gone, the task falls to us. The Farseer Adept and I will cast the glamour, but once we do that, we'll all need to drink a potion that allows us to see through the glamour and find the stone circle. The potions are brewed from the flower of the hedgehog grass, which only grows in the gloaming. Two of you will need to go retrieve it. I wanna go. Can I? You're still an acolyte, and acolytes can't go into the gloaming. Oh. So it's time for you to be promoted. From this day on, you'll be known as Herbalist. And to celebrate, I whipped you up some spirit flame. Here you go, Herbalist. Little will visitors to your shop know they're dealing with a bona fide certified member of the Fairhaven Coven. Congrats! Grandma would be so proud of you. Novice and Herbalist. The two of you will visit the outskirts of the gloaming and retrieve six hedgehog grass flowers. Adept, you will accompany them. I can't think of better company. When you're ready, speak to me again and I will place the first keystone in its column. About dang time. Are you ready, novice? As much as I'll ever be. Very well. Novice, herbalist, Adap, follow me to the stone circle. This keystone opens a path between the stone circle and the least dangerous part of the gloaming. I was hoping we could all stay out of the gloaming for decades, but the rate at which magic is flowing from the wellspring means that's not possible. I will keep them safe, I promise. You know, I shouldn't be surprised by all the flashing sparklies at this point, but they are so pretty. Make good decisions, please. is this? Ah, uh, yes. The barriers. We've never really understood where they come from. They are impervious to everything but pure magic. So, you'll need to blast it with your wand. Blast it? Oh, well, which spell should I use? No spell. Just point and shoot. Okay. Good. Give it a couple more hits. You'll need to watch your magic reserves in future encounters with them. Whoa, this place is amazing! I know, but be on your guard. It's beautiful, but dangerous. Like me. Sweet Snapdragons! I just saw a vine move. Everything here is alive with power from the Wellspring. But they each translate that power differently. We're just looking for a flower, right? Yes, but these ones defend themselves from being picked. That's why they're called hedgehog grass flowers. Hmm, I'm not sure how to get through here yet. I think we must be getting close. Just keep blasting them with your wand! Is this it? Yes. Now we just need five more.
Got it. Good work. Let's get back to the stone. The vines won't attack us as we retreat. We've cowed them into submission. Oh, hold up. I've never seen a plant like this before. I've only heard of them, but I think this is an echo blossom. Whoa. All the petals are covered in crystal. Echo blossoms look normal, but if you grasp the stem, the flower takes a short impression. And if you crack the layer of crystals... Oops! It's so slippery. <sighs> no. No way. <sighs> I hope this works. Echo blossoms are powerful magic. And my mama said not many of them are left. But if I don't make it out of the gloaming tonight, I want someone to know I was here. And these will be my little breadcrumb trail. Gloria. Is it true, Violet? That was your mom? I... I can't believe I just... Yeah. That was her. So we know she came this way the night she disappeared. It seems so. Violet, are you alright? What a shock to your system. Oh my god! I saw her! I really saw her! Yes! We should look for more of these. Are you kidding? I'm not letting a single one get away. I need to know Everything. Well, before we get into the search, we need to get back and speak with a coven about it. Ugh, fine. But then I want to come right back and begin looking. Six hedgehog grass flowers, just like you asked. Oh, wonderful. Well done, you three. Novice, distill the essence from the flowers in your sanctum, then brew six potions. We have something else to tell you as well. We found an echo blossom in the gloaming, and... And it had an impression of my mom! She was there the night she disappeared! By all the stars of the first witches! I didn't think echo blossoms grew there anymore. But if all three of you saw the impression of Gloria, we'll have to look into this. For now, herbalist, rest up. Oh, honey, what a day you've had. In the meantime, novice, please attend to the Glamour Neutralization Potion. I hope you can have several cauldrons going. This potion takes a while to brew. I'll get to work on them right away. Exciting election coming up, huh? I've never seen Otto in such a state. Do you think he's worried he might lose? Well, Marty's a handsome young upstart, to be sure. I mean, some gals might find him handsome. He's not really my type. Of course, I only seem to like him shifty and, uh, shall we say, sporadically employed. <laughs> I 
I hope you'll consider voting to re-elect Mayor Otto. He's brought so many great things to the community. Like me. <laughs> I'm joking. But seriously, he has been a true supporter of our mission here. Hey, Lena. I heard the election is coming up. Oh? Yeah, I suppose it's that time again. I would rather stay out of politics, honestly. But I'll be interested to hear what the new fella has to say. Should I go to bed? Ready to make your first whirly gig? Zephyr, you can't just pop up in my farm like that. Now Thomas thinks I talk to my watering can. Oh, Thomas. He really needs more help around his farm. I wish I could talk to him sometime, but, well, rules are rules. Anyway, a whirly gig is an enchanted machine that'll take care of farm chores for you. You can build one for watering your plants, chopping down trees, or harvesting crops. They'll save you lots of time. We'll need some metals to build your first one. Bring them to me, and I'll get to work on it right away. Inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. What's inside? I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. I see something. Mm -hmm. 